Hi, my name is Dustin Miles. I'm with Momenta Multifamily and uh, excited to, uh, to to kick this off and I'm excited to, to be here with uh, Brent Barkus today. Uh, just a little bit about myself. Uh, so Momenta Multifamily, you specialize in multifamily and DFW and the Houston markets. So uh, I'll turn it over to Brent and uh, if you want to introduce yourself real quick. And thanks for having me. Uh, it's, a, it's a treat uh, to be here and to uh, be asked on your show. Really, really appreciate that. And and I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, my name is Brent Barkus. I'm with I-65 Capital Investments. And uh, we are a boutique, um, mainly private equity. Uh, we are uh, uh, focused on the Nashville MSA currently uh, in 2024. Very excited about the Nashville market and uh, always um, looking to partner with great asset managers and sponsors and bringing private equity to deals. So that's kind of what we're focused on this year. Yeah. So we've got, uh, got to know you, you know, a little bit uh, over uh past year or so. And uh, you know, I guess we'd, yeah, I'd love to just kind of, um, you know, how long have you been in multifamily and, and just kind of curious, you know, what was kind of that motivation behind that? Well, let's see, uh, my journey, uh, I've been in Nashville a long time. Uh, met my wife here, uh, went to college here, studied music. I came down originally from St. Louis, Missouri, uh, many, many years ago. Don't want to, sh uh, uh, share my uh, age, but, uh, been here a long time and, uh, raising my kids here. But, um, yeah, so I came down originally, my, my main goal in life was to get in the music industry and be a, a session musician and uh, tour and, and play on records and, and be more in the, uh, the music scene. But I've always carried real estate with me as a passion. Uh, I grew up around it. My dad was a commercial realtor broker. And uh, so it's, I say it's in my blood. Uh, it's in my wife's blood, too. I think her dad uh, does the same in Illinois. So, so I think uh, those years as a kid, just uh, being with my dad, him showing me properties, and he was always, he was always uh, doing new deals and, and buying land and trading properties. And he was an early uh, adopter of 1031s when they first were around in the 80s uh, in St. Louis. He kind of brought it uh, from the West Coast when it was starting to kind of uh, be a, a, a you know, popular thing. So anyway, I, I've always... Uh, admired him and looked up to him and just uh always had the gene and the bug uh, uh you know to to invest in real estate so we've done a lot of in the past a lot of short-term uh you know rentals and flips and uh but i uh, got the multifamily bug several years ago um you know i'm kind of a podcast nerd so i uh, started hearing about syndications and being able to scale uh, our, our passive investing and just thinking long-term with my family and what, you know, what am I, what am I passing down to my kids? What can I, uh, you know, invest in that um, hopefully can, um, you know, provide for my family, but also things that I can uh, pass down to my kids. So that's got me really excited about multifamily and be able to scale with other, um, you know, other investors and asset managers. So. Well, where, where do you currently, I guess, kind of invest and in what cities are you investing in as a GP and just kind of, you know, maybe, maybe some things that, you know, what you look for. So right now um, I am uh, in uh, Warner Robins, Georgia is the first market that we uh, got in. Uh, I partnered up with uh, some of the um, investors, uh, asset managers out of the Think Multifamily Group out of Dallas, uh, Mark and Tamil Kenny, great people. And so um, kind of got to know them through the years and they were doing some deals and and I really liked the Warner, Rob uh, Warner Robins market. Uh, great uh, kind of C plus B minus assets. That's 204 units that I'm part of a co-GP on that. Uh, that closed in the end of 2022 and uh, 2023. I invested in, as, as a co GP on in, in Nashville in Madison, which is just east of uh, the river, uh, east northeast of downtown, which is a great uh, up and coming little um, city. I say city; it's a little town out of outside of Nashville called Madison. Mm -hmm. That's 206 units. We closed at the end of 2023. And currently working on my second Nashville deal, which I'm very excited about uh, here in, in Nolensville, which is uh, just another submarket of Nashville that's growing uh, great uh, workforce housing here, another 206 units. So uh, getting that done hopefully in February. So Oh, cool. Congrats. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Um, yeah. And I, I guess, you know, what kind of what role or, you know, what do you, you know, in, in, you know, these are our big assets, as you mentioned, 200 plus and all that, you know, what, what role do you like to play and. Um, yes. you know, yeah. maybe, maybe some things that you kind of like to look for. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Um, well, you know, being obviously haven't been at that long, I mean, I was always looking for ways to provide value to these teams, you know? And so, um, you know, like I said, I've been in Nashville a long time and have a lot of deep connections in sports and entertainment. It's kind of been the market I've, I, I made my living in for years. So, um, you know, I knew that I could, um, you know, build, take those, uh, you know, those relationships and hopefully bring uh, capital into deals. So I thought, okay, I can, I can network and build, um, you know, those relationships, 
relationships and bring private equity into deals, but I wanted to be more involved in that. So, uh, you know, uh, here in Nashville, obviously, which is where I'm really focused this year is, uh, providing, you know, more boots on the ground. So that's helping out with marketing. Um, you know, obviously being a, a part of the weekly calls and, and management of, of the calls and what's going on with the deal and the value add side, but also just being around on site so that I can, you know, help out with the um, value add side of things. So, you know, might be meeting with vendors and um, if I need to go over and help out with, you know, management at all and, and kind of oversee what's really going on, I'm, I'm trying to help out as much as I can um, being boots on the ground in Nashville. So, so I'm trying to leverage that is just since I've been here so long, I know that know the area, I know a lot of vendors. Um, so just trying to help out as much as I can on the, uh, on just being in town and, and helping out on the asset and be able to be present because uh, most of the other uh, uh, GPs are out, out of state. So, yeah, so that's for sure. Yeah. So that's kind of my main uh, goal is, you know, is to provide the value and private equity and then just help out on the marketing and uh, with the vendor side of things as well here in town. Cool. Well, you're, you're definitely in a great spot. I mean, as far as top 10 list of growth and population and, yeah. and just, you know, it, Nashville mm -hmm. feel like is always, you know, at the top, I have, I have a bunch of friends there and they're like, Oh, state birds, uh, you know, the crane. So yeah, yeah um... <laughs> totally. It is right now. Yeah. And so, yeah, downtown is it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've heard people say where, where the cranes are in the air, beware. And, but, uh, there's, there is so much, that, but it's such a well-rounded, you know, the economic growth is, is mm -hmm. just off charts and, and, uh, you know, my wife's a residential realtor. And so we see oh, a lot of the, uh, you know, coming in from, uh, you know, different markets, uh, see people moving in from LA and California and New York. And so, uh, you know, it just keeps kind of flooding in and she's seen a lot of that with, um, you know, cause we have a lot of great, uh, companies that move here, move their headquarters here. So oh, it, it kind of spans out. Yeah. Throughout the whole MSA. So there's, there's a ton going on. And so, um, but we're, you know, like I said, downtown, there's, you know, obviously there's a lot of oversupply right now, but, and that's mainly core, you know, in the core with the, the mm -hmm. A class, you know, so we're, yeah. we're, we're more focused on the, the workforce and the C plus to be minus right now. So, uh, yeah, I know there's been a lot of comparisons. I always hear about Austin and Nashville, lots of, lots of comparisons there. And then the music scene and all that too. So that's, yeah. that's awesome. Love, love Austin. Yeah. Love yeah. Austin. yeah. Um, well, cool. Uh, I know one thing that, uh, that, that we try to do just in general is, you know, we're always looking to kind of, you know, set ourselves apart and, um, and you know, there's, uh, you know, we're, we're surrounded by a lot of honestly, really good people. Yeah. And so, you know, sometimes that's, you know, it's more challenging and, and things like that. Um, you know, love to, you know, uh, in, in selfishly, this is, you know, probably as much for me than anybody else, but just curious to, you know, if there's anything that you do or, or you can think of that kind of helps, you know, set yourself apart. Um, obviously I, I think it, you know, I, I like what you touched on. Cause you know, I know, you know, obviously Nashville is hot and then there's, you know, a lot of people are interested in Nashville, but a lot of the investors I know don't actually live there. And so, um, so anyways, but yeah, curious to hear if, if there's anything that, you know, uh, yeah. you can think of that might kind of set yourself apart from others. You know, I think, and it, I think it kind of works in, in any, you know, industry that you're in, um, in, and I can relate to what I, what I do on the audio and the music side, but it's, it's really, mm -hmm. I think just trying to be the uh, the best team player that I can be and fill the role that's needed. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, I think sometimes, you know, people, you know, maybe want to take advantage of the situation or want, you know, more of a percentage of something, maybe that they're, they're not doing as, you know, they might be carrying, pulling their weight, but they want more. Or, and I look to just try to plug in and say, Hey, how can I provide value to this team? What's needed, you know, and um, just fill those, fill those roles that are needed and just be the, the, the optim, optimist and the, the team player and get things done. You know, that's really uh, important, you know, and obviously, um, you know, there's always going to be, there might be conflict or, you know, problems that come up, but really just being, and I say pretty mild mannered, you know, I don't, I don't get extremes too, too hot, too, you know, too casual and uh, get things done and, and hopefully be, you know, above reproach with my business and uh, be a team player and just uh, work hard and, and be ethical. So, yeah, that's provide awesome. value. Yeah. You know, yeah. just like I said, being in Nashville, um, I'm really excited about that and just, un and hoping to, um, you know, help other, other, like you're saying, other GPs that want to invest in Nashville are already eyeing this market, obviously, since it is so hot and just uh, being here and being a, a, a value provider, whether it's on the capital side or um, just being boots on the ground here, you know. Yeah, you know, we always talk about how it's a, 
it's team sport. You know, these yeah. are really big deals. And, uh, you know, we've, uh, you know, it, anyways, it, it's always good. It's refreshing, you know, and people are, you know, Hey, what we got to do, let's do this. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's awesome. Well, and I'm a uh, huge, I'm a huge momentum fan. So uh, as you know, you know, we've talked and I've been down, down to see you guys and, and seen a, a few of your amazing assets. So I, I love what you guys do and, and the branding that you have. So, yeah, I appreciate fan. that. Yeah, um, yeah, we, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's no, no overnight thing. And it's, know. you know, not, uh, never easy. Long game, sure. isn't it? Yeah. 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 There's, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, uh, social media and then there's, you know, the real work. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Um, anyways, but, uh, yeah. And just kind of curious, you know, the deals that, that you're in and, and obviously, you know, you've, uh, you've learned, I'm sure every deal, uh, I know every deal we learn something new, <laughs> whether we want to or not. So, yeah. um, but yeah, just kind of curious, you know, what, what you look for in a deal, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure location, you know, probably plays part than, you know, the team. And so just, yeah, I'd love to hear, you know, just kind of what you're, you know, what you're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. You know, it changes, I think, uh, and obviously as the uh, industry changes and, you know, obviously when the, the debt, everything changed kind of with the debt and the interest rates, um, you know, when I maybe first jumped in, I wasn't even thinking about uh, what if we get bridge or if we get fixed. It didn't really, you know, at the time I wasn't as concerned about yeah. you know, that being stable or not, And but who would have thought that the uh, rates would have jumped so high, you know, obviously historically. So so I'd say right now more, I'm, I always, I'm looking for, hey, are, are we how's the leverage, you know, are we over levered, you know, um, what kind of debt do we have? I'm always right now, obviously looking for deals that are, are fixed, you know, Fannie or Freddie. Um, and then, you know, my investors at this point, most of them are looking for, um, you know, they're looking for good cash flow. Um, you know, is it, is it a, a stable cash flow play? Um, but you know, it's not liquid. So, um, tying up, tying up investors money, wanting to make sure that the, you know, the equity multiple strong and, and, uh, it's, they're good. They're in great location, as you said, obviously. And, and is it a value add play? Um, you know, I typically not a big fan of the heavy value add right now. You know, obviously I like the, um, this, uh, Madison one, uh, we just closed on here in Nashville. It's a, it's a value add play, but it's more of an exterior value add, which I I, I kind of like about that. It's more, uh, you know, obviously paint and uh, landscaping and pool area and um, you know maybe a play area and those kind of things and and barbecue and and those kind of things. So I like that than more going in and having to to kind of like um, you know do the the major upgrades inside, which have already been done mainly. So there's only a few left. So a little meat on the bone on the inside, but uh, I like the exterior uh, you know value add play because it's it's a little uh, quicker and um, you know. Uh, I think it, and then also I think it's a great cultural thing. You know, we, one thing I, I, I walk all these deals and make sure you know, several times and make sure that I like the feel of it, the area, obviously. Um, and, you know, you, people have a sense of wherever they live, they have, they want a sense of ownership and pride of where they live, you know? And so I, I'm always kind of looking for those things that we can do um, to bring value to the people that actually, you know, are, are the people that live there. So that's, very yeah. important. as you know, that's very important that, you know, is there, I mean, this, this Madison one, there's kids running around everywhere and there's, there's no play area, you know, I'm just like oh, yeah. just kicking the soccer ball in the yard, you know, I'm thinking, yeah. okay, we yeah. can, we can make this a, a great win for all of us, you know? So just, just really getting to know the people there and um, you know, the culture and what they, what they find entertaining and what they want, how they want to you know spend time with each other and just making it feel more like home for them. But I guess switching gears just, just a little bit. Uh, so, you know, I'm sure you've talked to a lot of LPs and, you know, you've, uh, you know, people kind of run the gambit, but, uh, you know, what, what should LPs kind of be asking you about when, when they're, you know, when you're looking or when they're looking at a deal? You know, I think a lot of it, sometimes most of my investors, I've, I've got several that have been with me on, on these last two deals. Um, but you know, I'm obviously talking a lot with, you know, new potential investors all the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of times it's more just what is a passive. And I mean, it's, sometimes it can be as basic as, just in, in you know educating them on a syndication you know what what is passive investing a lot of them are just um you know they just maybe um you know haven't really experienced it before or you know and so always kind of just like educating on the basics of what we're doing um and then always wanting them to know hey here just being so upfront about who's involved who's you know who's how's the deal structured you know who are the people involved you know what's the track record obviously is the big one is just like hey as same with me it's like hey who am i partnering with you know are they ethical what what's their track record how long have they been in this game you know are they gone full cycle you know all those questions and just making sure that all of these people that that i come in uh, contact with uh, lp wise um, feel that same comfort that we're jumping in together here and uh, you know we want to make this work and and be a win win for everyone so just 
total uh, above reproach and, and honesty on everything on on all all that's going on on the GP side as well. So over the years, I've kind of learned you know more about you know what I like, what I don't like about you know multifamily. Uh, you know, there's there's some things that are you know awesome and then you know like some of the things you mentioned <laughs> earlier uh and there's some other things you know maybe not so fun uh i think the top of my list uh just because we're in tax season is probably k1s yeah, i, I have you know k1s i like them because uh, you know yeah, you get the losses helps with, yeah it helps <laughs> with the losses but then yeah. you know as far as preparation and all that not not yeah. the most fun thing in the world yeah. so yeah. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'd love to hear if you have any, if anything that you really, really like or, or not so much either. So, uh, yeah, yeah I'd love to get your feedback. <laughs> that's great. Uh, I'd say I agree. K ones that, that part, uh, this, and I've learned that's another thing, you know, as we do this more, it's like, I, I learned the, the, even more new things to communicate well to the LPs, you know, like I didn't think about K ones maybe being late. And some of my investors wanting to always file their taxes and be on time with that, not doing the extension. Well, yeah. I didn't think about that uh, a couple times ago, you know, on the first go around. So I'm always now very upfront. Hey, the K-1s, we'll do our best to get them to you on time. But if not, you know, we, you might have to file an extension and, and just wait on these K-1s. So anyway, at least now yeah. I can communicate that. And, and it's not a shock when they're not they're not there, you know, and they're, their uh, CPAs are looking for uh, complete their taxes. So anyway, I would say that I agree with you on that. The K-1s, what I love, I mean, there's so many things. Um uh, and I love, you know, I love the scalability of it. I love the team aspect of it and partnering with others that are, are just amazing at what they do, um, like you guys. And, uh, so anyway, just always looking for new relationships. And I just love that, um, you know, that we can all work together for a common, common goal and common wins of, uh, buying more real estate and, uh, the benefits of it, um, are amazing. So anyway, I think those are the, my favorite parts right now. So. Yep. I, I, I remember, uh, yeah, Hayden and I always kind of chat about, we're like, feels just like, you know, cause he, he grew up playing baseball and I yeah. played, still play soccer. I'm like, it just feels like it's a different sport. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So, yeah, man. So it takes that, it takes, takes, like you're saying, it does take that team effort, you know, yeah. and everyone's got different roles. So I love that. And everybody's yeah. got a different skill set, you know, I was actually part of a few different mentoring programs. Um, just kind of that, that was just, you know, my path yeah. and all that. Uh, just kind of curious if, you know, if you were part of a mentoring program or anything like that, or if you just kind of, yeah, you know, what? Um, I, I, yeah, great. No, I love them. And I think there's some amazing ones. And I, I probably, I, I've never actually, uh, actually joined any of them. I've just decided when I first kind of wanted to really just soak in and learn everything I could and still learning, obviously, um, I just started going, I picking, picking the mentors. I really loved their, what they were teaching and going to all their big events, you know? So I found myself, you know, with Rod Khalif, uh, going to see Cardone. And then I mentioned think multifamily and just really going to the bigger, um, seminars. I try to do one, one or two big ones a quarter and, uh, just, um, you know, you know, I don't, I, I would say one of my skills would, uh, skill sets would be, I, I'm pretty comfortable networking and being around people. So I, I, I don't have a problem going up and talking to a, all the little groups that are standing around before, you know, the thing kicks off or in the yeah. middle of taking breaks. So I figured, Hey, I'm just going to go to these, soak it up, learn from the best. And then, um, you know, start building relationships by just kind of entering these conversations and Hey, I'm in Nashville eager to learn and, and, uh, and get into some opportunities. And it's kind of the way I did it, you know? I, so, um, it wasn't, I was against joining or anything. I think it just kind of the way it has evolved so far, but there are, there are actually, yeah. I keep an eye on a few that I'm like, Hey, you know, um, you know, maybe, uh, just even for the the networking and just, um, you know, getting more of the deal flow on the inside, I'm sure they're, they're hearing more about deals obviously because they're, they're taking calls as a group, you know, so probably yeah. missed on that a little bit, just not getting to hear the, the deal flow that they are. But, uh, so anyway, it's always in the back of my mind. I just haven't, I've been involved, you know, every time I kind of turn around I'm, I'm kind of looking at another deal and I'm underwriting. So it's kind of like, well, I'll just keep going and, and yeah. people organically. And I use LinkedIn a lot to just to to network and talk to people about deals and hear about new opportunities. So awesome. that's cool. You know? Yeah. Um, uh, in, uh, you know, you have any favorite books or podcasts that you'd like to share? And then, oh, um, I heard this on, so I'm, I, the second part of the question is, is I heard this from someone, I don't remember it was on a podcast or a book. I can't remember, but, um, any, and then second part of the question is how any other books you've read more than once? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's great. Uh, books. Uh, let's see. I've read, I've I'm, I've read the purple Bible. I'm, you know, several times Kiyosaki's book, you know, mm -hmm. so that was a great one. Obviously, uh, 
a huge resource. Um, let's see, more than once. I really like, you know, Cardone's got a great book. Uh, I'm, I don't know the title of it right now. I mean, it's a free, he, you know, he, it's a lead magnet probably for him. It's a free book, but it was, it was just, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it was like a masterpiece or anything, but it, it definitely broke down deals and how simple he could do back of the napkin stuff to really kind of learn kind of how the, you know, quick underwriting can work to kind of see if you want to move forward and go deeper on a deal or not, you know, so I really like that. You know, that was great. Awesome. Uh, podcast, I'm sorry, I'm pulling up my podcast because I'm constantly on my podcast, but love um, Hunter Thompson, cash flow mm -hmm. uh, connections, listen to that all the time, Jake and Gino. You know, uh, the drunk real estate. Have you heard those guys? Drunk real estate. That I've, I've, I've heard of it. I yeah, have four guys. I don't know why they call it that, but I think they yeah. all have a, a bourbon or something while they're doing their podcast. Okay. And then yeah. I love, I've been on, uh, you know, Whitney's show. I love that. Sid and Cation cool. show. And then I've been on Best uh, best Ever, which is Fairless, you know. So those are some of the ones I'm always on or, you know, not cool. always on, listening to, you know. Yeah. So. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, I guess kind of looking out and all that, it, you know, kind of, I mean, you know, we're, towards the beginning of the year and all that and people are normally kind of setting goals uh so yeah. where where do you see yourself in five years or yeah. uh just or if you know or maybe you know or if you just have some goals that you're you know you'd like to chat about either one so oh, thanks yeah yeah five years uh well i'm really I, my what i love the, doing the most is is obviously meeting new investors and raising capital i, I, I love that part of it so uh, I think one of my goals is I really want to do, um, I want to grow into a, more of a fund to funds model. So mm -hmm. I'm coming into deals um, with, you know, obviously larger checks uh, and um, I would love to build a fund. And then, but I think right now, not a blind fund as much as more just a, a deal specific fund of funds. So more of an SPV and uh, go into deals that way, stay on the LP side um, and then manage all the, um, you know, the investors that way. So I'm, I'm curious with that. That's kind of one of my five-year goals is to get into obviously Stay co GP right now, provide value in different ways uh, as a partnership. And then I uh, would love to continue to build my network of investors and maybe come in on some deals as a, a fund of funds. That's that's one of my goals. And I'm just I'm really excited about Nashville. You know, I, the first few years I was in this, I was kind of scattered and, and looking in so many different markets. I felt like I was getting pulled, meeting mm -hmm. people and and underwriting deals in all these different great, you know, great markets that everybody was looking at. And I just thought, you know, I'm I'm in a I'm in an amazing market, you know, it's it's growing and and so I'm kind of doubled down on Nashville right now for 2024 and just uh, getting to know all the brokers even better and uh, learning uh, who's coming in with uh, to be asset managers in town and buy deals and just kind of trying to be a, a resource locally for those people. So I'm all in on Nashville this year and then fun to funds. Any advice, you know, you've had uh, had some uh, successes and all that. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's no, it's not easy raising money. I, you know, I, I know that uh, especially right now. I mean, I, you know, before interest rates are going up and all that, I mean, I think people were posting on Facebook, Oh, you know, 10 million raised in two seconds, right, exactly. and, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. um, anyways, you know, just kind of curious, you know, if you have any advice for, uh, you know, we, we talked to a lot of people and they're like, you know, I've, I've invested in, as an LP a handful of times and man, it sure would be cool to be on the GP side. You know, how do I do that? And, and uh yeah so if you have any advice for those folks would love to yeah. love to hear it oh thanks i i think like we've talked about i think it's kind of just relationship building you know and making people um more aware of your, what your goals are if you want to be on the gp side it's just kind of like getting out there and you know introducing yourself and how again providing that value you know whether it is bringing bringing equity to a deal or maybe you got skills and property you know overseeing property management or value add plays you know so just finding those niches where you know deals are trying to get done and people are looking for key um you know players in their in their partnerships to get things you know over the over the finish line so i'd say that um yeah i don't know i think that's it really just it's it's such a it's it's like anything else you know I've, like i said i've been in the music business for years audio and all that and it's just it's all referral and relationships and so i feel like i've just tried to kind of like leverage what i know from other other verticals that I've, i'm in and just uh try to you know try to be a, a team player and be open and honest and and look for opportunities to uh fill those fill those holes i guess and and be uh be a part of the you know be a, be a plus and a and uh you know value add to the d the team instead of a a downer you know i guess yeah yeah <laughs> you know, so. for sure well you don't know, never want to be the weak link so yeah awesome yeah. well yeah. uh well uh yeah appreciate uh you yeah. taking the time and being on here and 
um, you know, how, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you? And, and yeah, yeah. I know you mentioned you're on LinkedIn, all that too. So yeah, e e you know, your email or whatever the best contact yeah. is or your, uh, Thanks. or your website. So, yep. Yeah. Thank you. I, I would love to chat with anybody. It does, and it doesn't have to be, you know, interested in investing in our deals or just, even if you want to chat about, uh, being a GP, co-GP or LP, um, uh, my website is I 65. So that's letter I 65, uh, capital investments.com. Uh, and then my email is Brent at I 65 capital investments.com. And then all the socials I'm on LinkedIn all the time. Uh, you can DM me there or, or connect with me there. And then obviously Twitter, uh, Instagram, all the, and Facebook. So yeah, and I'm in Nashville. So would love to hook up with anyone that's uh, interested in investing or, or is in the process of, you know, coming here and uh, looking for deals. So I'm always looking for new uh, relationships to establish and, and do some prop buy some properties together. So really appreciate your time, Brent. Uh, yeah, great, great stuff and great to connect again. And yeah. um, gosh, yeah. And I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be, I think I'll be out in Nashville before too long. So I'll, I'll let you know, but sounds good. Uh, okay. Well, well awesome. Hey, well, thank you. Thank you so much, Brent. Thanks. Absolutely. Huge admire you guys and uh, happy 2024. So. All right. Thank you. Thanks. See you, everyone.